I'm going to create an underwater background on this watercolor paper that I will then attach to my square one art paper. I have a paper towel. I always like to have a paper towel when I'm using paint. I've got a large brush and then I have a medium brush. I'm just going to experiment here. I'm going to start off just with water, water with no paint, and just lay some water down. I think what I'll do is a gradation from the top to bottom. So at the top, I'm going to have it be lighter. And at the bottom, I'll have it darker. All right, so I'm going to start. I have this kind of aqua blue right here. I think I'll start off with that. Just drag it across. I could do thinner lines and see what happens. This, this almost looks like sky now with water below it. That's kind of cool. So maybe I'll go with that. I could vary up the lines. If I want it to look more like below the water, maybe I'll make a more solid. You can see it's starting to do some interesting things in here. I want to make sure I go right to the edge, even though the edge may get cut off from square one art. I want to make sure I don't leave white on the edges. Now I think I'll start to work in my other blue. This is more of a royal blue. Let's see what happens. It's kind of neat. I splattered some blue there. I'm going to try to pull up that. This, I want to make this darker down here. And now I'll let that dry. My sky is a little dark. So I'm going to go in and pull up some of the paint in the sky. And at the same time, I'm making a little texture. If I don't like that texture, I could just pull it off more. That kind of looks like wind. And now I'll let that dry, and then I'll do the next step of my project. Before I let this completely dry, I just noticed I, I missed some of the edges here, and I want to make this blue at the bottom a little bit darker. So maybe I'll do the, the bottom first. So I'm making sure I go all the way to the edge. I just clean my brush off by smushing it in the bottom gently and then wiping the water off. And then here, I just wanted to make sure I went, I don't have all this white on the edge. The top is, the sky is a little bit darker than I wanted, but I don't think I can pull any more of that blue off. Let me try here. I'm just going to push into it. Yeah, some of it's coming off. I've made pre-cut shapes of creatures that might live underwater. So I've got my pencil lines in. I like my plan.
I think I want to add some patterns to the scales. I can make seaweed. But anything I draw over this is going to be blended with the color that I've painted the water, that blue. distracting that I have a lack of blue on the bottom. I might want to go back over with paint and paint that. Let's see what happens if I make my fish red. Oh, the red works. It looks so purple. I'm going to go with pink. Hey, that's kind of neat. So this is one idea. And then I would want to put my name somewhere not too close to the edge so it doesn't get cut off. So I could put it right here. And now I just need to glue my turtle on. I just thought of something turtles like to eat jellyfish so I could draw a turtle going for a jellyfish up here maybe. Turtle. And we're pretty much done.